Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Pad Score 2. We are here in, I guess, the final mission for the uh, Sara Offensive. After that weird mission that we did before, um, the decisive battle of our campaign has arrived, my general. The French have reached the Siegfried line. We've done considerable damage to the numbers, but it will be foolish to think we have depleted two entire armies. Our mission is to hold the line at all costs. Only the strongest resistance can deter the French from continuing their assault on our homeland. Defend two victory axes. Defend all victory axes. Raid French 4th Army bases. And that's the secondary objective, okay? Or bonus. Our deployment pool has been temporarily boosted to fight this major battle. So if we have any combat units in reserve, now is the time to deploy them. While we could content ourselves with to hold the high ground... I think striking quickly might produce some excellent results. A raid on French-held airfields could seriously disrupt or even outright destroy half of their air power. We just have to make sure to strike and withdraw quickly before the main body of French arrives on the field. To victory for Germany. I've been looking over our personnel reports and I notice one of our riflemen is showing exceptional skill with a scoped weapon. I think a promotion to single out Oladir is in order. And then any infantry unit he's attached to will greatly benefit from his expertise. You have 12 points. Would you like to exchange 6 for his unique sniper? I'll try the exchange, obviously. And we get a river assault. That's not too fancy. And Oladir. Plus 20% base accuracy. Huh. 2 to speed, 2 to initiative. He's likely to be very good once again. Couldn't do any upgrades in the previous mission because... Whatever. Uh, we have 0, 0.85. So... How far can we penetrate? We are allowed to take Spicheren. Right, let's let's um start with getting at least three fighters back. Uh let's actually do four. So we'll have two fighters on each side. But maybe they're best deployed in the center. We'll likely have more trouble with the French 4th Army and their Air Force. So let's actually get... Uh, well, actually, I think maybe I'm much better off focusing my Air Force. So I get one on this side and then three on the other so I can at least destroy enemy air units. And then if I have to, I can always switch, switch them back. Cannot upgrade the 109E. Let's get two bombers for now. A third might be a bit overkill. And since the secondary objective is in this area as well, I might just as well deploy these over here so we can quickly snatch these and then fall back. And there's no reason to do anything else on this side than to raid those. On this side, though, I kind of want to get all the way over here. It's a matter of honor and prestige. So I, I think the heroes that I got, besides the river assault, was one for artillery or something. Uh, I don't know now. At any rate... Let's at the very least get two infantry and two pioneers as well. They'll all go back. Then on the lowest amount of experience I'll put Oledir. Uh, 
I will also get the artillery and upgrade it. Let's get at least four artillery. Both flak. So let's upgrade these guys to 150 millimeter or the 15 centimeter. Basically, I need them to have both artillery and AT support, and I think that's just such a good upgrade to make that it's one that you cannot miss out on. And I would take that over any tank upgrade for now. Although getting a char at this stage, I would not mind that. Um, let's actually see whether I can upgrade the anti-tank. I cannot. I mean, technically I can change it to UD 47 millimeter. But I don't think that's a great idea. Let's, however, get the Fredeja at least. And... Hey. Yeah, the, these guys... Let's take a look where there I will get more artillery. I, I probably will, but let's get at least one recon. Panzer 2A. Sure, let's change the Panzer 2A then. Let's upgrade that and let's turn that into a char. I think we'll have enough. Yeah, we have 30 at the moment. And that's the same amount of slots, less fuel, less ammo, but these are... I mean, they don't have double soft attack. Well, 1.5 actually, so they're almost pretty much similar in soft attack. Unless the odds would exceed over 100% at that point. But yeah, their biggest asset is their defense, of course. So let's upgrade that one. So we have some chars to deploy. Get at least one of the T26s. And a Panzer II C with Albert Kirscher. I actually get to deploy a lot on this mission. Let's get the Asul infantry. Another artillery. I think an anti aircraft. Another anti tank. Another recon and a panzer, and then we'll have some units to split. Sure, all right, so let's get the two deploying the rest. I think that's looking pretty decent for now. Uh, so, with regards to the fans, we cannot lose any of the victory hexes and that means well they are likely to attack first but then now that I think about it maybe not if now we'll see Let's 
put the artillery. So basically what I need to do is I need to make three battle groups. One, two, and then three. And then basically have my defense revolve around those. Mm. And let's get one tank out here as well. Like that. So I'll have a relatively minor force in here and I guess a big force in here and also a medium force in Saarbrücken. So... Let's get the Fredeja over here. Double artillery. Movable anti-aircraft gun. No recon. But they will still get a tank. I guess you. Then for the last one double tank double artillery recon infantry and anti aircraft oh All right, so that's it. Yeah, I can split my units, but this way it will be fine. This victory, those are victory hexes, and that too. That's end deployment. All oh, right, heroes. I got river assault. No. Mm, I guess I'll put in on an infantry. I don't actually remember. Oh yeah, okay. So I put it on just a regular infantry. Two speed, two initiative. Yeah. So I guess we do have the initiative. I find that to be a bit weird. Um, yeah, so I could preempt the enemy attacks. Or try to, but let's just go on the offensive after a while. So, no need to do any crazy stuff. For the moment. Yeah, and I should probably just wait here eh. you have a range of three by itself let's move you in here move you to the side
you cannot even reach that area. But, like I said, let's preemptive the enemy here, at least. I have to deal with the enemy fighters first. Okay, two five is not too amazing. They'll be busy for a while, so there's... I guess definitely sweet, okay. Yeah, this doesn't cover everything, but you know, you can't have it all, I suppose. Um, there is another airfield over here, which I'll then need to take. Doesn't seem likely that they'll be out there. Cannot bomb with you. Then let's move you across, though. And then just wait for the enemy with the rest. They did no damage to the Leo. Well, the Leo is a heavy bomber. So, it makes sense at that point. Okay, so they're just clearing a bunch of mines for now. Nothing too interesting. So, if they're moving like this, I definitely want to get the artillery. As soon as possible. Because the artillery is generally what causes the most problems anyway, so... Now, ideally, I'll just throw back the entire French army, but I don't want to get too cocky here. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they do have bridge engineers as well. Fine. I guess at this stage, yeah, this one might be a bit of a problem. But not overly so. And we only need to hold it anyway. I just kind of hope they would put a unit in here to actually cross. But it seems like they won't be doing that. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, taking the anti tank gun is not a major issue here, so. It's not too bad. I just have to be careful that they don't outflank Halberg and then just randomly take it. It's a lot of calf, but I think I'll be able to take it down. My general, our field mechanics just finished the inventory of French equipment we seized during the Orenthal raids. They reported there are enough technical documents and spare parts to field a single unit of Samoa S-35 medium tanks. Requisitioning enough custom parts to continue to keep it running will take more than a little bit of your influence with our quartermasters, though. I have like a gazillion of these Samoa tanks already, but... Uh, Sure, let's authorize the exchange. You have zero points now. I, we don't have it yet, apparently. They might actually be able to deal with the fighters, which would be a lot better than what's going on now, so. Um, yeah, we don't have the Fredeja here, so we just need to rather destroy the enemy units. I think, no, it's not even Kersher. Alright, um, I don't need FT-17s. So let's just bomb them and then get, oh, never mind. Let's take this here airfield first. So the great thing about this is that this army no longer has any other airfields. So if we take this, then their planes will just go and crash down. Uh, which is why I want to get at them. That will be an overrun. As long as we keep smashing through the enemy at fast enough speed they cannot get enough momentum to launch a serious offensive which is what I'm looking for yeah which I'm looking for here these guys will probably just repair You cannot move and attack, unfortunately. And as for the pioneers and in this infantry. Can you... Well, there's probably no need to reach it. Let's see, though. Let's attack with the recon first. Because I mind getting damage on the recon a little bit less. Attack here. Let's see what happens. They're down to two. Okay. Okay. Shoot down the enemy fighter. Which will allow me to not only destroy the Potes. Almost. But I need to engage this Potes. If they want to repair all these planes, I really don't care. Uh, so, well, what I can do is actually relocate you here and get a bonus. And I don't really expect any more fighters around here, so I'll just go and bomb these. Because I don't want things to get too feisty around here. Alright, let's finish them off, actually. I do need to reach the other airfield, so...
Let's go. That takes care of this. Now over here. You'll be having some trouble moving around. But... Well, first of all, I need to deal with the MS-406. Which I'll endeavor to do. Once I'm done in this area, I will switch over to fighters over here. Because, well, I cannot be everywhere at the same time. Obviously. Sweet. As far as these guys are concerned, I can... Can you attack it? No. Alright, well, I'll move around. They'll get pushed back. Then let's have this infantry go into this hex. I can move forward the artillery. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I actually want to take the non-artillery units. Um, this should do the job. For them to surrender. And infantry at fourteen strength. Those two will repair. Yeah, I'll be okay. I'll be fine. As long as this is the only group, I will definitely be fine. Just need to be a bit aggressive and then I'll stay on the defensive over here. Also... Yeah, I, I cannot beat them this way. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, I wanted to move the anti-tank gun there. Cannot take that back, obviously. No, because I have Iron Man mode. What? No. <laughs> Why? No, game. What am I doing? I... I have no clue why I'm suddenly like this. Well, that didn't go well. I'll be fine, but that was dumb. And the turn. Wow, okay, that's a lot of damage, suddenly. Hmm. That's actually their recon, so they must have gone around. Yep, it's even the third army planes. I'm sure they will have a lot of uh, prestige as well. So they're probably just gonna repair a whole lot. 
They don't seem to be exceptionally proactive, but... Alright, finally, they're getting into the position that I want them to be. They'll be busy with the mines as well for a while. Uh, ah, the repaired Samur tank has arrived from the north. Great. Although... <laughs> Still not there yet. Uh-huh. That was weird. Super aggressive. Ah, there we have it. So, if we take a look here, I think... Chars, AMC, Trubius... Yeah, I already have 61 Samuas. It really... Doesn't matter to me, <laughs> but fine. That's fine. Attack. Uh, that's. Uh, I really want to destroy this. So, or with the Flaxa. Let's get down there. You can deal a bunch of damage to the char as well. Char against char. The one problem is that, yeah, let, let's just use the bombers. And that's taken care of. This recon might potentially cause problems if I just leave them running amok. Because I actually think they might just go around and take it. That would be super silly because I think I'm not allowed to lose.